Hi, in this video I am going to explain you what is the difference between maximum allowable working pressure, design pressure and operating pressure as well as what is hydrodes pressure. Those who are working in oil and gas or similar process industry, they will come across these different terms. And there may be a chance to get confused between these similar terms. And that is not unusual. These four terms are very much related. Let's start with operating pressure. Let's assume that you have designed one process plant and that plant is going to operate with certain pressure and temperature. Based on your process condition, you will select the safe operating pressure for your equipment and that will become your operating pressure. Now with the help of this operating pressure, equipment designer will add some safety margin, usually in the range of 10 to 25 percent depend on the experience of the designer. He will consider that some unusual event that may occur during the normal operation. And based on this, he will come with some design pressure number. You have a temperature, you have a design pressure. So this data you will add in equipment data sheet and this data sheet you will hand over to your equipment manufacturer. And now your equipment manufacturer based on the applicable design code, for example, ASME, BS or IS, whatever it may be, he will design the equipment and he will come with some thickness number. For sake of example, consider that he will come with 16.5 mm thickness for your design pressure but this 16.5 mm plate may not be available in market so he will go for the higher number higher thickness plate and let's assume that he will come with 18 mm thickness plate now it is very common that 18 mm thickness plate can withstand more pressure than 16.5 mm plate so he will back calculate with the help of this 18 mm thickness plate what is the maximum pressure that this design equipment can withstand and this pressure will become your maximum allowable working pressure. So now we have covered three terms. One is operating pressure, design pressure and maximum allowable working pressure. Operating pressure based on your process condition, you will add some safety margin on that. That will become your design pressure. Based on this design pressure, your equipment manufacturer will design your equipment and he will come with some number which is usually equal to or more than your design pressure that will become your maximum allowable working pressure. And hydrodress pressure calculated based on the equation given in the construction code of the equipment. In case of ASME, hydrodress is normally 1.3 times of your design pressure. And if you're going to do for pneumatic test, it will 1.1 time of your design pressure. And hydrodress pressure is the maximum pressure that your equipment undergo throughout the life of the equipment. Here one more thing I want to emphasize that your maximum allowable working pressure will not remain same throughout the life of the equipment. Because once your equipment is in operation, it may subject it to some wear, tear and corrosion that will reduce the actual thickness of the plate. So after certain year of operation, you have to check actual thickness available and you have to recalculate that maximum allowable working pressure. I hope this video will help you to understand the difference between these similarly looking terms. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and also note that I have one paid course on Udemy that is on how to become expert on pipe and pipe fitting for oil and gas career. To get this course on 50% off price, you can refer the description in which I have given the link. Thank you and please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.